Hey, I'm Lucy Corns from She Shopped. I have two websites, sheshop.com.au and Club She Shopped. The one thing I've learned in business, I think your heart, the harder you work, the luckier you get. But it's not to say that uh, you don't have to be super smart about how hard you work. I really hope you enjoy the story behind She Shop tonight. She Shopped, what inspired you to set it up? Um, my eldest son, Eddie, who is seven, um, was born with some really... Um, and lives with chronic health issues. Um, and so I guess the reason why She Shop came about was I was doing some work in radio, just freelancing, had my own column. Um, so I was sort of moving in the media direction and enjoying it. Um, but as um, you know, the kids were growing up and going to school and all the rest of it, and I was looking for more hours, um, it became pretty apparent that I wasn't going to be able to keep a normal job. Um, and I was doing some uh, I was doing my first shift for mixed breakfast. Um, I was supposed to do my first shift for mixed breakfast. And at about 4am it became pretty apparent that things were going pear-shaped with Eddie. And when things go pear-shaped with Eddie, they go pear-shaped very quickly. And so I had to ring, uh, I had to text the producer at that time and said, I'm not going to make it in. Now, for anyone in radio, that's career suicide. <laughs> um, and it was a very defining moment for me. And I knew at that time that I had to be... Um, available to Eddie and to both or to all three of my boys um, and that I'd have to create something for myself to be flexible enough um, for Eddie <laughs> who is um, you know it can be very chaotic with Eddie uh, ironically we've had a crazy week the past you know kind of 10 days and um, but the good thing is is that I'm there we can go to our three clinics that we need to go to um, I can go to school and pick him up when he's not going to make it through the day um, I can run She Shop from the Women's and Children's Hospital, which has been done. Um, and, you know, it's all worth it in that sense. The reason I started She Shop specifically, if you want the truth as well, um, according to my husband, I'm very good at finding shit online. <laughs> um, just to line it up there a little bit for you. Sorry to have my back to people here. Um, and so I actually think I am good at finding shit online. And um, that's how the idea for She Shop came about. I give gifts at a birthday and people are like, oh my God, I love that. Um, and they'd say, where'd you get it from? I'd say, I got it from this online shop. And the thing that I noticed from so many people would say to me, I want to shop online, but I don't feel confident. And so what I wanted to do was build a community where we'd connect our brands and sort of act as a trusted referral voice. We're positioned as your most reliable girlfriend online. You thought you were corny, that's even cornier. <laughs> um, but we really are. We're positioned as your most reliable girlfriend online and we connect um, our brands with a very um, engaged audience. And what ages would your audience be? What's your it's target? It's really broad, actually. The key audience is 24 to 44, but we actually stretch quite a way outside of that as well, like around the 18 to 55 mark. Oh, so good. it's quite a broad market. And probably getting broader, is it? It is, actually. You know, the word spreading. We obviously started um, here um, with a good presence in South Australia. Um, Vic Victoria's our... Uh, fastest growing and second largest audience. So the word's starting to spread and we're doing some work to push into really hard into the eastern states this year. Good. Mm. That's excellent. Yeah. And exciting. It is. It's exciting. It's chaotic and fabulous and lots of hard work but really exciting. And you know we've got a great community just like Belinda of um, predominantly Australian women. We've got a few men and we love our men who contribute um, to the community but we've got a really nice community of women online. You know 45,000 plus Australian women who, um, yep, they love to shop, but we're a lot more than that as well um, as, a, as a platform, and that's where our authenticity comes from. Um, at Christmas time, which is going to become an institution actually run as a side charity now called the Inner Royal, we connect Australian families in need with Australian families who are able to um, give at Christmas time. And that started last year with an amazing success, incredible uptake. We'll actually have full administration supporting that this year. And I think that will become a real she shop legacy. So we are about shopping, but we're also about a lot more than that. And that's definitely, um, I think, a strength of the platform is our commitment to giving back. Mm. Even though we've actually had to um, put some strategy around how we give back, because uh, if you're seen as a platform who's charitable, you get inundated. And I have to remind myself I'm not running a charity, um, but now we're putting in some really systemised um, strategies around that because it's not something that I want to lose. So we'll have the inner royal at Christmas time, connecting Australian families, and they literally connect on each other's doorsteps where possible. 
Um, that was very life-changing for both donors and recipients last year, and I think that's going to become a legacy. And we also work with a few other charities, Cure for Brain Cancer. Ch I have announced on... Um, I've got a few loves of my life. My husband, Kane is one of them. <laughs> my boys are another. Um, my son's cardiologist, Gavin Witten, some people may know him in the room, is another, and I have declared my love for him on stage when emceeing an event. Um, and I also have a mega crush on Dr. Charlie Teo, um, who's a brain surgeon, and um, he's also the founder of, uh, it's just changed from Cure for Life to Cure for Brain Cancer, his charity. My brother lives with brain cancer, so I'm very passionate about it. Um, but I also love Charlie for his philosophies. He's, a, he's considered a bit of a cowboy. Um, but he's actually just a pioneer, um, he's honest, um, and I just really admire the man. So we're going to keep that side of She Shopped, um, but we certainly have had to put some strategy around what we're able to do in that field. So how do you make money? It's a digital advertising platform, we're very transparent about that. Everything you see on She Shop's paid for, aside from the um, charity posts that we do, um, pretty much everything else um, is paid for to be there. Cool. Mm. So setbacks? Setbacks, probably the biggest setback I've had was the second development. So I'd say there's obviously the launch of She Shop, then I redeveloped the She Shop website where I overestimated, and this was just my mistake. Um, we invested a lot of money back into the business, and I overestimated the value of one of our revenue streams, which is affiliate marketing. Um, and even though affiliate marketing is strong for us, and we've got some really good relationships um, with several key brands, I overestimated it. So we invested a lot of money in bringing all these data feeds into our website, and it was a big mistake, and we'll be getting rid of them at the end of the year. So it was an expensive mistake, um, but, you know, the business funded it, the business funded that mistake. Um, I've learned a lot from it. We we'll always have that capability there, which in time to come, uh, we may bring back, but we'll certainly be getting rid of it um, soon. So when, when the question comes about what would you do differently in business, what would that be? Potentially, I wouldn't have done that second phase, but the second phase is going to get me to, uh, will get me to phase three, which we're launching in July. So maybe I would have still done So it's a bit like it. you need to make the mistake to get Exactly. It. Yeah. That's right. And... Um, it's really funny, my husband and I have very different philosophies towards money. I'm like, there's always enough. There is always <laughs> enough. Um, you know, so for him, you know, sinking $40,000 into something that has effectively, that part of our business is really doing nothing um, compared to the direct advertising, you know, that's a pretty expensive mistake. But I just figure, um, move on. We can see, as Belinda said, this business has great legs. It's making good money. Um, and move right along, and we've learnt, I've learned a lot from it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and also um, I can just like uh, Linda and I are slightly similar. You're going to hear a lot of similarities there, but you know I'm like jump right in. My head's exploding. So many creative ideas, um, and I find numbers really boring. So um, <laughs> you know potentially it's like Lucy, stop and slow down and get to know the numbers better, and also. Um, it, it, was, it's, it was just a little bit too premature for the Australian market at the moment in terms of shopping online. Shopping online in Australia right now, people like to be told what to buy. They don't want a choice of 3,000 products on a data feed. Um, and so I needed to appreciate that better. Not everyone is as good at shopping online as I am. <laughs> <laughs> or finding. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, so your motto, your inspirational quote. Okay. Wherever well, it sits. Yeah, I got this, my actual major one in life is a bit of a novel. It's going to take me about 30 seconds, sorry. In business predominantly, it's the harder you work, um, the luckier you get. And I honestly genuinely believe that. It's not about being stupid though. You have to be um, working on the right things. Um, so I think, you know, there's a fine line there between just thinking I'm just going to work like a slave and I'm going to get the rewards. It's about working on the right things and being disciplined and not procrastinating too much. Um, which I'm a terrible procrastinator. So um, I think that's really important. My main motto in life, which if you want the one that's on the fridge, this is it. People are often unreasonable, irrational and self-centred. Forgive them anyway. If you are kind, people may accuse you of selfish ulterior motives. Be kind anyway. If you are successful, and this is really relevant in business, um, you will win some unfaithful friends and some genuine enemies. Succeed anyway. If you are honest and sincere, people may deceive you. Be honest and sincere anyway. What you spend years creating, others could destroy overnight, create anyway, also very true in business. If you find serenity and happiness, some may be jealous, be happy anyway. 
the good you do today will often be forgotten, do good anyway. Give the best you have and it will never be enough. Give your best anyway. In the final analysis, it's between you, this says God, but whoever your higher power is, if you've got one, it was never between you and them anyway. And that's really the mm. philosophy um, that I live by. I'm very comfortable in my own skin. Your higher power might be you, your inner voice, whoever it is. Um, and I think it's either you against you or you or whoever's out there, you against them. And I think if that's your barometer, um, it keeps you on track. Yeah, well done. Mm. Well done. Thanks for sharing that with us. Sorry about the, the <laughs> novel. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> One, three children, mm -hmm. four if you include... Kane. Kane. Spot He's on. a mega child too, <laughs> bless him. Absolutely. They all are, except you. <laughs> Number one husband. <laughs> <laughs> How do you balance? And also with, with young Eddie being We so don't sick. have any balance, um, <laughs> to be honest. But that's okay. And I think people have this perception, you know, obviously Kane plays AFL. <coughs> people have a perception of glamorous, um, you know, a lot of um, social engagements, all the rest of it, babysitters, nannies, whatever. We don't have any of that. Um, there's a lot of time where it's, okay, you've got the kids now, babe, I'm doing this, like tonight. Um, so there's a lot of balancing in that sense. Kane's really supportive of She Shop, which is great, and I've been really supportive of his footy career for like 15 years, so he bloody well should be. <laughs> um, but there's no balance and we can't plan in our life, you know. Um, and no, neither anyone can, you know. We live with a son with chronic health issues, but you can be hit by a bus tomorrow. Sorry to sort of put that out there, but you can. So it's hard to plan. We just, I'm very good at living in the moment. I'm better than Kane than living in the moment. So that's definitely a challenge for Kane. Um, and we just go with the flow. And I have to, if I have to work for the women's and children, I work for the women's and children's. And, um, you know, we just roll with it. I make sure I do Bikram yoga at least three times a week. Otherwise I would actually go mental. Um, and so that's been my thing. And so I'm disciplined with that. Um, and other than that, we just keep it really simple. You know, we, we don't go out a lot. Um, it's kind of like work, family, hanging out, and we're really happy with that. You know, we're sort of not after anything more than that. If we've got the boys um, and each other, then that's actually really great. Mm -hmm. So your top tools and resources for business, what Very are they? similar. I use Xero, um, which I absolutely love. Hating numbers, that makes it very straightforward. Um, I use Trello as my um, uh, content management um, as a t content management tool. That's similar to the one that Belinda uses. What, Asana, isn't it? Yeah. So it's the same thing. I've actually looked at Asana. They're very similar um, and it's just great for managing content. I've got... Um, Catherine, who works for me um, out of Melbourne, so we use that to um, sort of keep ahead of what's happening um, and manage all the content that we deal with. We deal with a lot of content. Um, I outsource, I've outsourced really successfully, learn how to outsource. I need to learn how to outsource more, but I've outsourced to a great graphic designer who's here tonight. Um, I've got an amazing finance team in terms of accountant, accountant and a bookkeeper, and my developer who I absolutely love. Um, he, you know, is a massive part of uh, my team. We've had really big frustrations, like he bombed on the second um, part of She Shopped as well. And he's kind of the first to admit that we have really had to rescue that. It was probably always destined for failure, that second um, development. Um, but our relationships have survived, we're really honest. Um, everyone who works with me knows exactly where I stand. Like my staff know where I stand. Um, you know, I don't really consider them staff, it's just team. Um, my clients know where I stand, I'm very, very honest with them. Everything from picture quality to we had an issue today with a fertility clinic being annoyed that we ran another post for, a, for another fertility event. I'm just really honest about it. Um, and, you know, I back it up with numbers. The example today was um, uh, getting angry about this other um, fertility, very different sort of thing running. And I just said, you know, you should be... I try and challenge people to look at things in a different way. That post was so well received. I gave her the numbers on the click-through. Like, we clearly have an audience genuinely interested in fertility, a portion of our audience. And I said, you know, you're missing out on a massive opportunity. So I think I just... Um, I know I've really um, gone around in circles with that question. But um, outsource... Get good tools like Trello and Xero and get them from the beginning. I started a little bit late with Xero, which was really stupid, and my bookkeeper hated me for about three months. Um, and 
be honest in all your communications where you can, as much as you can be, because that saves a hell of a lot of time. So honesty and integrity and just being quite transparent helps, okay. is what I was trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I've got to say, I'm operating on about two hours sleep, so I hope I am articulate. <laughs> you are. Yeah. You are, but everyone loves the authentic Lucy, so don't forget that. She's a bit crazy. <laughs> we all are. <laughs> You're about to launch Club She Shop. I am. Tell us about that. Club She Shop's a sister side of She Shop. Um, it's the third development, which is great. They're very integrated. We're not kind of diluting the brand in any capacity, running off the same social media channels, all the rest of it. Um, Club She Shop does a million dollar business. There's no question about it. It's a subscription based um, shopping club um, where members actually pay a fee of $12.95 a month to be a part of it. We then negotiate, we've negotiated some awesome deals with leading brands. Um, they get eight amazing offers in their member area each month. Um, and that's everything from travel, lifestyle, fashion, beauty. They're um, absolutely exclusive to She Shop. Um, and they're also entered into an awesome prize pool, like we're talking about $5,000 worth of prizes each month. And um, we're capping the membership at 15000 in the first wave, and that's just to make sure the brands can, co once we have some data on redemption of codes and all the rest of it, then we'll probably open that up. Um, I think it's, the brands are loving it because we realise, and this is really important for you guys running businesses out there, um, big numbers in terms of your audience are good for your ego. Engagement is where the money's at. And so if we can have 15,000 members who are qualified online shoppers, we have so much data on their behaviour online, all those sort of things, we know that we're going to get awesome conversions and our retailers are going to love us. And I think that's why the likes of ASOS and um, we're working with an amazing travel company and, you know, their um, Adairs is another one going out, Seed Fashion. We've, they're jumping on it because they're seriously excited about being able to reach out to an audience in that way. And our audience, our members will love it because they're getting real amazing value. They're getting good communication from us without being spammed. Um, you know, they're just getting eight amazing offers each month. Um, and everyone loves to win something. That's the thing I've been able to identify <laughs> with two years in this space. People love real value and that's not necessarily discount. People are very desensitised to discount these days. They actually want um, value and they love to win something. So Club Sheet Shop gives them the opportunity at both. Yeah, congratulations. Mm. So we're launching in July and would you believe it, my developer is so on track. <laughs> so that's pretty exciting. <laughs> um, and the site, it looks really schmick. It's quite aspirational and we'll redevelop She Shop to look the same. And um, yeah, She Shop's growing up. It is. Mm. It is. Well done. Yeah. So 2020, five and a half years time. I'll be sitting on a beach in Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to sell out of She Shop. There's, um, and I've been really clear about the exit strategy from the outset. Um, and the reason I want to sell out of She Shop is um, obviously with Eddie is actually one of the predominant reasons as to why. Um, I love being in business and that that's not the reason. I don't, it's not that I want to take my hands off it. Um, and I know someone will take She Shop and take it to a whole new level. I think it, I can see where it can be taken. I just don't want to take it that way. Um, I want to take it to a certain level and then I'm going to hand it over. Um, and I'll be adequately, adequately rewarded for that. Um, because I've put in a lot of hard work to get there. But then I think where my passion is, I think I'm really good at branding um, and I want to help start up. So I think that's what I'll end up doing. Um, I'll never stop working. I saw a palm reader. I'm like into all this stuff. <laughs> and she's like, you're one of those people that goes to Hungry Jack's and you never finish your Coke. And I'm like, yes, I am. I hate to sit still. I sort of never get into TV shows. She goes, you'll be so happy when you sell your business for one day. Because I just <laughs> like, um, I just, that's how I am. Like I'm always got other ideas happening and, um, you know, I will never kind of sit still. So I will sell She Shop, but there'll be something else after. I just don't know that it will be the level of commitment that we're at now. Mm. Mm. And one piece of advice for anyone starting up a business today? Know your numbers. Like a lot of creative people I think are entrepreneurs and they hate numbers traditionally um, and I was one of those people. But I invested, when I started She Shop, I invested 30000 I pretty much knew exactly how I was going to recoup every one of those cents and um, in what time frame. 
Um, and I think I achieved that within about six weeks um, outside of that, what I expected. So know your numbers. I think especially like speaking to the women in the room, we took that 30000 off our mortgage and for me to be able to sleep at night and think like I wasn't stealing from the family and all the rest <laughs> of it, I wanted to know how I was going to recoup that and then um, go forward from there. So certainly know your numbers. Um, give it a crack and um, just know that it is a, it's a lot of hard work. I think people underestimate how much work it is. Um, it's heaps of work, but you know, the, I think the rewards are there and it's worth it, so go for it. Well done. Yeah. Please thank Lucy for me. Thank you.